Samsung just announced the release of its 2014 Smart Control, the remote control included with most of its new smart TVs. The updated clicker now supports more gestures, not by waving it around a la Nintendo Wiimote or LG Magic Motion Wand, but via its much smaller trackpad. The touchpad is a fifth the size of last year's, and while Samsung says it offers enhanced usability and ergonomics, I tend to think a larger pad would be better for that. Now we'll have to see when this actually releases, but for now I'm not holding my breath. Now last year's supported gestures included the ability to draw channel numbers on the pad and swipe and scroll using bars on the side. Now this year the bars are gone and the pad supports a swiping left-right gesture to flick between Samsung Smart Hub panels or content listings across multiple pages. It is bounded by four directional buttons enabling users to access their content much more accurately according to Samsung. Now, the last year's model, there were had a couple problems, among which were the lack of dedicated DVR-friendly transport controls for play, fast-forward and rewind on the 2013 remote, and Samsung did listen this time round. The updated clicker returns with these old favourites, and although it's still missing forward and reverse skip, maybe a custom gesture can fill that void. One notable dedicated button is for multi-link screen, which is said to enable users to watch multiple content simultaneously on a single screen. It sounds like split screen, perhaps with a live TV on one side and an app or web page on the other. Samsung says the new remote also brings up the virtual remote keyboard more easily than before. Now, the biggest change probably is the new shape, which mimics the pebble design of Samsung's old mini remotes and comes with a textured grip on the underside. Like previous years, the remote does include a microphone for content searching and playback control using natural language, like for instance Hi TV. It's also Bluetooth, so you don't need to line of sight to the TV. Now, weirdly though, Samsung is not an official sponsor of the 2014 World Cup, even though it includes a dedicated button to enter soccer mode, which optimizes picture settings for soccer, that would probably work just as well for the NFL or Croquet. It's kind of weird considering they'll waste a button on a sports-themed picture mode, but can't find a spot for forward skip. Anyways, let me know what you think of this new remote in the comments below, please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!